Good morning, second graders. Uh, this is Miss Broyhill bringing you your art lesson for this week. Um, the lesson that we're doing is uh, comes from a piece of artwork by the name of Mark M A R M A R C is how he spells it. Mark Chagall, and I will send you an image of this artwork that we're going to be looking at, and it is called I like me and the village and mark chagall was a russian uh, artist and in russia when he was growing up he drew um he saw things in his life and he would make them in his art when he became an adult and a lot of people uh, make art that has to do with their life and and when they when they're growing up things that they've done when they're growing up and um he did that now he was from a really poor family and they really lived off the land they had cows for milk they had chickens for eggs they made you know they canned and uh made all their grew all their food made all their clothes and so um one thing that was also in his life besides how he grew up he had um music was in his life and um he uh, did a portrait which is called I in the Village um, that shows his uh, life and um, it is also a portrait of him and you know a portrait is a picture of a person and if it's a self portrait is a picture of you so he added that into his artwork I'm going to send you an image of I in the Village on your documents um, in dojo and on my bitmoji classroom where you can see the uh, see the artwork. If you want to, you know, Google "I and the Village" by Mark Chagall, you'll see the image. It's very colorful. It is divided into sections, and a lot of art critics uh, analyzed his artwork. And so, when you look at artwork, you try to figure out what the artist is trying to tell you. Uh, so, based on what some critics have seen, uh, seen in his artwork, we're going to create a lesson or some artwork that is similar to what Mark Chagall did. Obviously, it's gonna be about you. It's gonna be about things that are in your life. Um, and it's gonna involve animals because animals um, were an important part of his uh, life growing up on the farm. So I'm sure you guys may have some pets or there's some pets that you would like one day. Uh, so you can add those animals into your artwork too. Um, so I'm gonna show you how you uh, break your artwork into four sections um, and in those four sections we're going to do be drawing things that have to do with us it's going to have a picture of you you can uh, have the drawing of you facing facing you or uh, you can have it from the side so you'll have a profile on the image of Mark Chagall's um, on his artwork called I in the Village you will see that he's done a profile and you can be a little abstract with it um, that means that anything can be any color that you want it to be. Uh, so this is how you will create your eye in the village, if that's what you want to call it, uh, artwork today. You can use pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you've got. Uh, so this is how the lettuce lesson goes. But make sure you look at the artwork before you actually start your artwork of your own so you will kind of see where I got these ideas from. So if you see I in the village, it is divided into four parts and it's like there's a big X in his painting or his artwork. So we'll put a big X in here and you can turn your paper vertical or horizontal and each section represents part of your life. One section will be a drawing of you so you can do just your face. Uh, so I'm just going to write the, uh, I'm going to write the words you because it's going to be a por por portrait of you, excuse me. It will go in one of the sections. Above you, you want to draw things that you dream of. So it's like a dream. His artwork has con been considered dreamy because a lot of his um, images have things that are floating upside down. He actually has a house or two floating upside down. So if this were the ground, it would be floating upside down, which is very unusual, but it gets your attention. So in art, you not only do you make art for you, 
you also make it for other people to look like you look at excuse me uh you want it interesting so definitely if you see a house floating upside down you're going to think well that's very interesting why did they do that uh so you might actually see people floating upside down so um and that's okay uh that might be something you might actually see in your dream i don't know but that's how a lot of critics have seen his artwork is it's kind of dreamy like uh it's kind of fantasy like so like i said this part is where you draw a picture of you you can draw it from the side which is called a profile or you can draw it facing you however you want to do it you can do your whole body or just your face uh, a profile like i said is like this looking at someone from the side so there's your forehead here would be your nose here is area right before your lips and then your chin so this is a profile so if you want to do a profile of you please feel free to give it a try you can be happy sad whatever you want to do on that so that's a profile that's what i want you to know that that's a picture of someone from the side so i just sketched that in real quick so draw a picture of you and oh, got my eyebrows um draw what you dream about uh i dream about let's see i dream about going on vacation if we ever get to go on vacation again um and i like to go hiking so i might do dreaming about seeing the biggest waterfall of all or something whatever you want to draw is fine but those are some things that i dream about um that you could draw in there and even put them upside down if you want to all uh, right in this area you are going to uh draw an animal of your choice it can be your pet it can be a pet that you might want it might be an animal that you might want um my favorite animal is a tiger so i would probably draw a tiger right in here um so you pick out what you want to draw in this area and how it relates to you um you could I do have two dogs, by the way. I could do my dogs, draw my dogs. But anyway, uh, and then down in this area, you're going to draw what you think your animal dreams of. So, um, I, since I have a dog, I'm pretty sure he's dreaming about running around, chasing a bone, chasing a tire, or getting a snack or getting uh, all kinds of stuff uh, that he gets at the house. And I can't think of anything else that my pet would probably dream about. So you might draw in some doggy treats or whatever, or running out in the field, whatever you think your animal or pet dreams about in this area down here. And like I said, you could have things upside down. You could even have your animal's picture upside down. Um, and while I'm thinking of it, I just had this brainstorm. If you wanted to, if you have some pictures in a magazine that could represent your dream, you can add those in there, like a collage. So uh, if you go through a magazine and you see something in there that you could glue on here as a collage, that's another thing you could do. I didn't even think about that till just now. Um, and if you have some pictures of you, you could actually glue in some pictures of you or your animal so that's kind of a good way to take it uh, not only a drawing you can add in pictures cut them out and glue them down you could do that too because it's about you and uh your life and what's important to you just like with mark chagall so you can do a drawing uh you can actually turn it into a collage because i just had that brainstorm right there i do that all the time um i'll be thinking about something i'm like oh i can do this to it change it up so um if you want to do that too uh get that done um don't forget to look at the image uh i and the village by mark chagall so you can actually see the painting that i'm talking about it's very colorful it's very different it's very interesting so i hope you enjoy it and you guys have a good day